Yeah, good afternoon. Very nice to be here to talk about some 3D experiences and how you can get those into your React Native app. And, and before I get started with all that and all the details how to do that, I want to talk about a little bit about the work that kind of inspired and act as a base for this talk. So for the last year, I've been working on a project called, or a product called Noise. And what Noise tries to do is tries to challenge big streaming platforms like Twitch and make it a lot better. Uh, and in some marketing lingo, that's put that Noise is going to be the next gen live streaming platform for gamers where you can actually play the stream. Uh, another way to put that is that it tries really hard to be as immersive as possible so that you're not just laying on your couch and watching a stream, but you're actually being part of it and you can actually feel all the other viewers also being part of it. Uh, to give you an actual an idea what that means, all that talk, all that marketing talk, I'm going to show you a brief clip of a stream that I watched this morning. Uh, those who are who've used Twitch before, this is probably familiar. So you have the stream going on, you have the chat. Those are pretty basic stuff, pretty common. But then here in the bottom, you have what we call the card game. And the way that functions is you look at the stream, you try to guess what's happening, what's going to happen next. Is it, is it going to get a headshot, for example, when this uh, Dashnard is playing Valorant? And if it does, you get points. And you're not actually playing just solo, you're actually part of a team. So you can see the other team, member, team members and the other teams there as well. And for example, in this case, when I select the card, my avatar, 3D avatar shows that. So he acts always when something is happening in the game. And in addition to the web, view, web platform, we also have a mobile app, which has pretty much the same thing. This is available on App Store, on iOS currently has all the same things, chat, game, whatnot, but it's actually missing something pretty big. And that's the 3D avatars, because it's actually not that easy to build that stuff. Uh, and that's what I'm going to talk to you to today, like how one way I've discovered of building those. It's not perfect, but it works. Uh, and in the end, I'm also going to briefly mention one alternative solution. But how to get started with, with all that. So easiest one, just take a new Expo project, start from scratch, install Expo GL to it, and you're good to go. Uh, in reality, you probably wouldn't actually do this, and I'm quick, soon gonna show you why. Uh, but instead, what you probably end up doing if you wanna add 3D graphics to a React Native app is go you're gonna add a lot more dependencies. Not necessarily all of these, but if you end up going to production, uh, most likely all of these. Uh, the biggest ones being 3.js and React 3 Fiber, which I'm gonna mention soon. But before all that, so to give you a bit of a context on what is like WebGL and ExpoGL, what are the differences? So noise.com, for example, uses WebGL under the hood to show all that uh, 3D graphic stuff. And it's widely available on basically all browsers. Works pretty nicely, it's performant. Uh, and then if you want to do that on a native side, you have ExpoGL, which doesn't really have anything to do with WebGL. Rather, it's an OpenGL rendering target for React Native. So in addition to being that and you being possible to use, for example, the React 3 Fiber and 3.js, it's not actually a web view, but a native layer, uh, which is pretty good because the web view would not be very good for this situation. But then getting why, why you would probably won't want to write uh, with just ExpoGL uh, is because I would call it the hard way. Uh, and probably because I'm not actually a, like a coding prodigy, but rather a carpenter who just discovered computers, <laughs> I find all this, like writing these shaders, very intimidating. Uh, and I would had actually a lot of trouble even getting like a good demo of what it looks like, because it was like ended up being so much code. Uh, so instead, I write, like to do something a lot simple. So 3.js is, is one option. And what 3.js does is that Instead of writing all those shaders, there's some, so to say, common building blocks like mesh to create 3D boxes, 3D objects of all kinds, models, and so on. Then camera element, I'm putting those. So then you basically take a scene, you add a camera to it, you add some material and geometry to a, to a mesh, and you get a cube. And then you add that cube to the scene, position the camera, and you get something 3D out, basically. That's all good. It's, it's pretty nice, but we can actually go even better uh, with React 3 Fiber. 
So because we're working in the React Native context, we have this React model, mind model of how things work. So we can take that and express 3JS as JSX, and suddenly all the properties of the meshes are now just props that we're passing uh, like this. And it's a lot simpler to describe. So here we're creating, for example, a simple box that has the geometry, it has the arguments, in this case, telling you where to basically display everything. And then it has the material, in this case, a black box. And then we can just import that and show it in a on a canvas. If we want to add animations to that, we first need to add a ref so that we can reference the mesh. And then we add the use frame hook. And what use frame hook does is basically attaches to the mesh to the rendering loop so that we can tell it that on every frame that you render, do something. And in this case, we're doing a small rotation of, of y and x axis to get the cube rotating, rotating nicely. And when we put all that together, we end up with something like this. So it doesn't really take that much. This has some additional properties like ambient light and so on, just to make it a little bit nicer. But it's like pretty easy to get started. Uh, so now you're of course wondering like, okay, if it's that easy to get started, why isn't everyone using it? And there are a few reasons. So it is not the most performant option. So for example, with noise, we have this problem that we have those avatars, they have like very complex skeletons. And what that means is that when they have very complex skeletons, it means that they can move a lot. They have a lot of stuff that needs to be animated and moved. We put four on them on the mobile screen and everything basically dies. So uh, we're still kind of discovering what would be the best solution to make all that actually like performance. Maybe making the skeleton slightly simpler. Uh, so if you actually want to build some like very complex stuff, then Unity, Codot, those kind of like actual game engines are probably a better choice for this. Uh, in our case, we wanted to use the web stuff that we've already built, so WebG uh, Expo GL was a better option. But then there's also another, like one of the like bigger downsides in my opinion is the fact that you have to say goodbye to simulator because the iOS simulator doesn't actually have the uh, OpenGL layer at all. So you have to do the uh, testing on a real device uh, in order to get things working. Also for the performance, those who are wondering that could you just use React Native reanimated to things, make things performant, not really. As you just saw, the animations are based on when, when a new frame is rendered, do something. You can't really optimize that. Uh, so you end up in a situation where it's very difficult to get the performance like 100% right. Uh, and especially with the lower end devices. Uh, but there is one option. Uh, so last, just like two days ago, a new package came out called the React Native Filament, which basically encapsulates the filament rendering engine developed by Google, uh, which is probably actually a good thing, although it's Google. Uh, and it has a syntax that is very similar to uh, React 3 Fiber. So I tested it out really quickly, and I do kind of like it. I wasn't able to get anything like massively complex done, uh, mainly because I looked at it this morning. Uh, but that's one option, like going with that. Uh, and I'm really interested to see how this gets adapted more and what you can actually build with this. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have. So I don't know, go try noise. If you like it, come tell me. If you don't like it, come tell me. If you spot a lot of bugs, those are also my doing, so please come tell me. And <laughs> otherwise, I don't know, go build 3D experiences. Thanks. <laughs>